we're going to uh, look further into Greece and its uh, situation right now, not only with its debt, but with shipping and the outlook here, because today Greece's benchmark stock index uh, under pressure. In the past month, it lost about 8.4 percent. It's the only laggard of Western Europe. The Greek stock market has been reacting to attempts to rein in what is a ballooning deficit. So what new course does the two-month-old administration have in mind to try to revive the economy there? Joining me here in studio is Greece's Minister of the Economy, Competitiveness and Shipping, Luca Katzeli. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. You're there. saying it perfectly. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for coming in and joining us. Thank uh, you. In studio. Uh, this is a new administration. You're a key part of it. Uh, the focus, as you know, is mm -hmm. on the deficit in Greece right now and the pressure on lenders. Uh, Goldman Sachs has characterized it as a challenging environment. How would you characterize it? It's a challenging environment indeed, but it's not the only challenge. Actually, uh, our challenges are three. First is to spur up the economy, because as you know, there is a declining economic activity, not as bad as in other European countries, but still uh, unemployment is rising and economic activity is going down. There is a fiscal deterioration, which you pointed out already, which mm -hmm. we need to address and bring down the deficit over the next three years. And there is a competitiveness issue which we should address head on by spurring investment and supporting entrepreneurship. When you say competitiveness, you're looking at that. Shipping, obviously, a key part uh, of the Greek shipping, economy. Shipping, and as you know, Greece is a leader in shipping. And actually, shipping has come now under the Ministry of Economy mm -hmm. and competitiveness in shipping because we want Greece to be a leader in many other areas, and it could be a leader in many other areas. How do you stay competitive with China and Chinese shipping? Well, you don't compete. You do not compete on wage costs. <laughs> That's one. You compete on value added, on quality, and on the quality of services in particular. And our aspiration is to help make Greece a uh, very dynamic hub for a regional market because one of the major advantages for Greece is that it's, it's the crossroads of three continents, uh, bridging Europe with the Asia and Africa. It has an unparalleled environment and cultural heritage. Mm -hmm. So uh, my two days in New York here has convinced me that there is tremendous investment interest in investing in tourism, in culture, in modern services, in infrastructure, in telecommunications, bio, and the issue for us and the challenge for us is to do everything necessary to turn these advantages into opportunities. One challenge to that and to staying competitive is, of course, the EU requiring the budget shortfall to be reduced from its 12.7 percent down to less than 3 percent. Many say that's going to result in lower growth and it's going to have to result in higher taxes. How do not you do that? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. And I'll tell you why. First of all, there is a lot of margin to reduce government expenditures because there is a lot of fat in government expenditures. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of our key challenges and the challenge of our finance minister, George Papakosandino, is actually to make sure that this happens. Secondly, there is a lot of tax evasion still in Greece. We are a country with uh, wage employment being only a small percentage of total employment. As a result, taxes for self-employed, for agricultural workers and so on, the whole tax system needs to be reformed. Mm -hmm. So that's a major second challenge. Thirdly, we have an EU community support framework of about 26 billion to prop up investment without putting an added burden on the budget. Mm -hmm. and. And finally, we need to spur up private investment, which will not put, again, a burden on the uh, budget. That's why one of the key challenges of my own ministry is to pursue a major regulatory reform, because right now there is a lot of red tape in Greece to do right. investment. And unless we unleash and support entrepreneurship by cutting down this red tape and cutting down the cost of doing business in Greece, mm -hmm. uh, it will be difficult to turn this appetite for investment into actual bankable projects. Now, in the past week, a lot of concerns about Dubai and their debt levels. Mm -hmm. It's raised the question of Greece and Greece debt levels um, is swirling as is the question of is Greece the next Dubai. I'm sure you don't appreciate those headlines, but specifically I want to ask you about um, the sale of some of the state-owned assets that you are involved with, uh, particularly Olympic Airlines, being sold to a firm that's being backed by Dubai Financial. 
what's but happening there? Le let me say that these fears are completely unfounded and okay. unrelated to Dubai and what happened there. Mm -hmm. Greece is a European country. Uh, there is a government with strong support to mm -hmm. put its house in order, so these fears should be com are completely uh, unfounded. Right. Uh, secondly, uh, there, I don't expect any repercussions from Dubai to affect the Greek economy or Greek investments. Thank you for responding to that. Okay.